the purpose of this video is to show you after three years whether or not this garden hose is worth buying. I'm guessing it was around the year 2013, 2014, somewhere in there. So there's an infomercial that was on TV that was showing these hoses right here. When you turn them on, then they expand and they'll reach a 50 foot distance. The problem with a lot of them is when you turn them on, actually, I think I had a pocket hose that lasted about a week. I have a video somewhere, I, I'd have to go back and check it out. But all of a sudden it just started to get like a little blister on it. And then over like the next couple days, the blister started growing. And next thing you know, it had this huge thing that just popped and that was the end of the hose. And they're virtually throwaway hoses. But then exactly three years ago, I uploaded a video with the Zero G hose. So I found this one. It was more expensive than the rest. And it was about $35 for a 50 foot hose. And it really looked pretty nice. It has these, let me get that to focus right there. It has the nice ends right there. It has that nice textured grip right there so you can really tighten it. And then this is the other end right here. So it's easier right there with that hand. So it just, you can really lock it and get nice and snug. And these don't drip when you hook them up to other hoses. If it does leak, it's the fault of the other hose, not this one. This just has always had nice threads on it and just a nice seal, that ring in there right there. Everything that's the original one. So for three years, this has held up really well. <clears throat> so over the years, the Zero G hose has definitely been my favorite. This one, I think it measures about 48 feet when it's dry like this. And it really stores pretty easy. It's very lightweight and I, pretty much all summer long kept this outside for the last three years. It's just the, it folds up nice. It doesn't kink or like have any issues with water flow. And there's one issue that I thought that I noticed with this. I thought I was getting a little bit of water seeping into this because when I had this hooked up to my house, I would sometimes notice this wet right here. So I thought it was the problem with the hose. So I responded to some of my comments saying that this hose right here worked really well and it's my favorite except it had a small leak and you can't repair this hose. So that was so minor that I told people it still works great, but I realized now, and I really frustrated myself, that the leaking was actually from the faucet of my house. I'll show you what that looks like and how I was fooled by that. So this actually, after three years, has not leaked. And to prove to you that this does not leak, I'm going to hook this up to this hose right here. So I'll show you right there. It's not on, but here, I'll turn it on. Water is going through it. See that doesn't leak right there. That end right there doesn't leak. So I'm gonna show you really quick the faucet outside my house and where it was leaking at and why it looked like it was happening in here, but it really wasn't. So let's take a look at that. We'll come back and we'll see the hose after it sat for like a good 15 minutes. So here's where the faucet is. You can see it's a little bit rusty up there on that pressure relief valve. I believe that's the term for that. So I didn't have this Melner Y adapter on here. So what I had was just that other hose, the Zero G hose hooked up to this. And the water was slowly seeping down there and onto the hose. This is actually a different hose, but it would seep down and then this portion was wet. And that's why I thought the Zero G hose had a little leak up here but it definitely doesn't have a leak we're going to go back and take a look at it and you'll see that the hose is dry so this is the zero g hose it's been on for a little while now you can see it's fully pressured and it's three years old and even my dog my puppy has grabbed it so i can definitely say that this is worth trying this is actually my favorite garden hose of all the different ones that i've owned and tested you can check out my channel. You'll see I've tried quite a few of them. All right, so check this out. I've had the hose hooked up the entire night. So it's been filled under pressure with water. You can see on the concrete that there's no water, no seepage. Right there, this is going downhill so you can see which way the water is spraying. And right next to it, I have this other hybrid hose. You can just see the length of it only goes to right there. These are both 50 foot hoses. But well, the problem with this blue hose is that when it's under pressure and then you open up this end right here, 
the hose will shrink probably a good 15 feet so you're not gonna be able to stretch it out let's say 45 feet but with the zero G hose <laughs> with the zero G hose it's 48 feet already when it's dry with no pressure in it so you can definitely stand away from your house close to 50 feet while the hose is on so my opinion if you're looking for a hybrid garden hose the zero G is the best one out there the fact that it just doesn't kink and the fact that it doesn't shrink when you're opening up the hose but something that you can leave out in the sun it's held up to different conditions dragging it across the ground and it's built to last it hasn't popped if I were to make a recommendation to the zero G company it would be to make the ends repairable so in case something did happen you could repair it but so far it doesn't need it so I guess we're good there so my goal of this video is to help you guys out so if you're thinking about purchasing this item right here hopefully you'll know my experience with it after three years and it's been great so if you find this video interesting informative and helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that's it friends thanks for watching see you next time